everyone and welcome back today to another adventure. Today we are heading out on our first big adventure since our move into the New South Wales Central West. Today we are heading one and a half hours out of the beautiful town of Mudgee in the New South Wales Hill Country into the unknown regions of the Goulburn River National Park. Now this is the first time that I have ever headed out to this region of New South Wales, tucked in between Mudgee and the Barrington Tops National Park. Now I am super duper excited to be heading out here. This place has been on the to-do list for some time and I'm thrilled to be finally heading out here. Now there are two campgrounds in the Goulburn River National Park, Spring Gully Campground and the Big River Campground. I'll be heading out today to the Big River Campground in the Goulburn River National Park. I really hope to get some nice shots of the river as there has been a lot of rain in the region recently, which is really, really good for the Central West region of New South Wales. As we know, just a couple of years ago, this region was absolutely devastated by drought, and so it's really good to see some good rainfall finally coming through. So as I just said, I am really, really keen to be heading out to this region. I have never been out to this particular spot before. It has been on my to-do list for a while, however. We have been all around this region. We've been to Mudgee plenty of times. We've been to Safalo, we've been to Barrington Tops. However, we have never explored the region in between. So as far as I'm aware out here, in the Golden River National Park, there's not a fair amount of four-wheel driving. It's just your leisurely dirt road and to be honest, I am completely okay with that. This campground will be really good for those heading out there who are not into the hardcore stuff and just want a nice, peaceful drive out into the bush far away from other people. So, without further ado, I'm going to stop blabbering on and let's get right into the adventure. region of New South Wales is just absolutely amazing. You just never get sick of the rolling hills and endless plains as you head out to some of these destinations. What makes it really cool is we are in a really historic region of New South Wales. A lot of the early settlers up in the mountains were in this area, so you get to see a fair amount of old historical ruins on the way out into the Golden River National Park. So we have just hit our first patch of dirt here and I am still 30 kilometers away from the campground in this beautiful valley out here near the Goulburn River National Park. I just can't get over how beautiful it is out here. Just take a look at the surroundings as we drive along.
come along here and just crossing over the river back there, the river is flowing nice and fast, which is exactly why we came here. Really wanted to see what the river was like after all that rain. So now I'm really, really excited. Beautiful drive through here, through the bush. We're almost there, so it shouldn't be too much longer. So I've just run into a little mishap out here going into the Big River Campground. Now I've come along Walla Road, just the way that the maps was taking me into this place. Beautiful drive out through here. You're along a dirt road for about 35 kilometers. Now, around about six kilometers before um, you hit the campground, only about 10 minutes, six Ks, you have to enter through some private property. Now it looks like in the past, that landowner must have had an agreement of some sort with national parks and he was allowing people to go in there and use his road to access the campground. Now, I've just come all the way out here and there's some big signs everywhere saying that there's no longer access into the national park. So I've had to turn around only 10 minutes from the campground. I drove an hour and a half out here and 35 kilometers down this dirt road. And now I've had to turn around and add another hour and a half onto the journey just to get right back in there so we're gonna peg it now and try and get in there before the sun sets because that was the goal we're perfectly on time for this trip and now that's thrown a little spanner in the works but anyway we'll still make it work however we won't be able to get that crisp sunset shot that I was aiming for but anyway let's crack on with it So just about here, only a few hundred meters from the campground and the wildlife seems to be really booming here. Just seen then that fox running down the road with me there for about 500 meters. That was pretty, pretty cool. Now there's been some roos run across the road and we're coming into a really nice flat here just before we enter the campground, which is really, really promising. I'm sure there'll be lots of wildlife in here. Now what an awesome spot I have managed to snag here. We are finally at the Big River Campground here in the Golden River National Park after an afternoon of uh, misfortune going the wrong way and then having to come back all the way through Walla. We finally made it and I have to say this place is just beautiful. It is so peaceful. There's a couple of other people here and the atmosphere is just amazing.
So now that we're actually here, what is there to do in the Goulburn River National Park? Well, first things first, you're gonna to wanna to grab out a garbage bag and be prepared to take all of your rubbish with you because there are no bins here. And we wanna keep the Goulburn River National Park open for future adventures. So tonight's dinner is just really simple like it always is here at camp. We're just gonna be cooking up some snags for you guys tonight. Now I'm fairly hungry, so I got four on there. This will last me for the whole trip which is just today and tomorrow. Now this place is just beautiful. Uh, the weather is absolutely amazing for my trip here and it's really, really held out. It's such a serene place. It's beautiful, it's peaceful, it's quiet and you've got this amazing mountainous view to enjoy almost all to yourself. It seems like this is a really quiet campground. You won't get too many hoons in here seeking the hard four-wheel drive tracks because there are none. This park is predominantly for those seeking hiking and other leisure activities and just seeking those chill adventures, looking for a nice spot to sit down and relax. So there seems to be a little bit of an audience for both here on the channel. You guys have seen me tackle some of the hardest tracks in New South Wales, and you've also seen me head to some of the most peaceful destinations in the country. This one here, the Big River Campground, Golden River National Park, has to take a spot up near the top of the list for one of the most peaceful destinations that I've been to. Personal preference, I like to get a little bit of both in most of the trips that I do. I really, really enjoy uh, getting out there to some peaceful places. I also really enjoy lifting wheels in the Pajero. And when they're both combined together, for me, that makes the perfect trip. So originally I was not gonna have a fire tonight and I didn't bring anything really to prep a fire with, like any axes or anything like that. But after seeing some of that prime uh, wood up there, I'm gonna give it a go. I'm just gonna scavenge around, see what I can find, and maybe start a little fire for tonight. Anyway, I'm gonna try and do that before the sun fully disappears. So wish me luck. guys so I have decided to try something again that I've actually tried before up on the entrance and that is to put the swag up there on the roof I mean it's in a little bit of an awkward position however I thought heck I am riverside today and I really would like a sunrise view from the swag and I thought the only way that I was going to be able to do that was to bring the swag around this side of the calf out from under the awning or to pop it up on the roof and me personally the higher I am off the ground the better sleep I have when it comes to camping and that's why rooftop tents are so appealing to me uh, a certain one in particular those who have been following a while will know that one anyway I'm gonna give this a go again uh, you'll know if the sleep was bad because I'll never do it again but in terms of why I did it well that's why because I want to see the Sun rising up from the swag Good morning everyone. Now here is a much better look at the setup that I was going with last night. I uh, kind of last minute decided to throw the swag up there on the roof and uh, it was actually alright. Like it was pretty comfortable 
and I would and probably will be doing that again. Now it hangs off the end a little bit awkwardly but I mean that was alright, you can still stretch all the way out. The only trouble that I had was actually getting up there. I'll have to work something out, get a little ladder or like a pop-up ladder or something like that if I'm going to keep doing this in the future until I can afford a rooftop tent uh, because jumping out of there in the middle of the night uh, is not good. You don't want to be doing a roly-poly when you need to go to the toilet. Anyway, um, I'm actually kind of glad that I did that last night because randomly last night down there by the river, which is behind me here, I heard some random screeching noises uh, that I have absolutely no idea what the source of those noises could have been. And being up there uh, and actually being able to see down in that direction and be up off the ground made me fall back to sleep a lot easier than I would have if I was on the ground. If I was on the ground, I probably would not have been able to fall back to sleep. Anyway, I'll play those noises for you guys in a minute. I actually managed to get a good minute or two of it on camera. I think of just something like a deer, if there are any of those in this area. It was just really, really loud and really repetitive. It kept going on for about, well, what I noticed was about 45 minutes and then I'm sure it kept going on for a little while longer because I managed to actually fall back to sleep which is pretty awesome. Anyway, I'll play that for you now. So how weird is that, right? So the plans for today, uh, we are just gonna be pretty much chilling around here. I don't have an awful lot on the to-do list. I might go back over and check out Spring Gully and show you guys that one because that looked like a really awesome little campground. That was just nice and flat and open. This one is still nice and flat and open as you can see here, but it's on a little bit of a slope. So in terms of the actual areas that you can camp on without being on a slope it's a lot more limited compared to spring gully which is actually just one kilometer back down this track so that's pretty awesome i'll probably do that and besides from that there isn't too much else to do around here besides hiking and i'm not outfitted to do that so let's get into the day Oh. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do us for our adventure into the Goulburn River National Park. This place is just absolutely amazing. It is so peaceful here. You could just sit here for hours and enjoy the peaceful tranquility of the Goulburn River. This place is a must visit for those seeking leisurely adventure without too much four wheel driving. It's just down a dirt road and boy are you rewarded at the end. So ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed, remember to hit the big red subscribe button and as always, we will see you in the next adventure.